So the Sputnik vaccine was developed by researchers in Russia and it was named after a satellite. It's controversial because Vladimir Putin, the Russian president, approved the vaccine without any safety or efficacy data being published. And the phase three trial hadn't even begun. And the phase three trials are really important because they tend to be the really big ones involving thousands of people. Sputnik vaccine is about 91% effective and the AstraZeneca vaccine is about 70% effective. The Pfizer vaccine was around 95% effective. The vaccine is based on an adenovirus vector, which is the same basis that the AstraZeneca vaccine is based on. And the vector means it's the way that the vaccine gets to the virus and how it sort of attacks the virus. Sputnik vaccine has two different vectors. So the first vector is given in the first dose and the second vector is given in the second dose. Because it's two different vectors, scientists think that is why it's more effective than say the AstraZeneca vaccine. From the trial data, there are no concerns about safety and the safety is similar to trials reported by Pfizer and Moderna and AstraZeneca. The phase three trial results were published in the Lancet Medical Journal. In terms of safety, there were sort of nearly 20,000 people took part in the trial as a whole. About 14,000 had the vaccine and about just over 4,000 had the placebo. Nearly 8,000 adverse events were reported, but 94% of those events were what is called grade one, which would mean things like pain in your arm, maybe a slight fever, um, a headache, the kind of thing that a lot of people get after a vaccine anyway. So they're called grade one and are not classed as anything to worry about. And also they might not even be related to the vaccine. Russia is currently using the vaccine and um, several kind of Eastern European countries are using it as well. So Hungary has started rolling it out and the Czech Republic and Slovakia are also about to start using it. Um, and France and Germany, surprisingly, are also in talks with the um, Russians to secure their own supply. And Russia has also been using um, its sort of vaccine diplomacy, a kind of soft power and countries in Latin America, such as Argentina, are also said to be using it, and also some countries in Africa, but we don't have sort of firm reports on which countries those are. I think it's highly unlikely that the UK will use it. We've bought about 400 million doses of lots of different vaccines. We're very heavily reliant on the AstraZeneca vaccine, but even if we didn't use that, the AstraZeneca vaccine, we still have on order about 300 million doses of other vaccines. So unless something absolutely horrendous happens and all our vaccine stocks suddenly get stopped or go up in smoke, then I think it's highly unlikely that we will be using this vaccine.